Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Falcons Corner Voice of the Falcons, Mike Bigger. Good guy to know co-host Danny Berg. Still teaching. One more week? Last week. All right, Professor Tom, SID, triple yeah. threat time. Are you you're not giving a final, we discussed that. <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna have an activity during finals week because you gotta do something. Get people here for the game tonight. But we're gonna have an activity during finals week next right. week. It'll it'll be a, a like an activity final. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And, and yeah. it is the Falcons corner. My mom thinks it's the coach's corner. She's like, Oh, I watched you on the coach's corner again. I'm Ooh. like, what in God's name is the coach's <laughs> corner? But it's her birthday today, so that's why I is mentioned it? yes. Well, happy she's, birthday to Mama Ricker. She's old because I'm old. Okay. So she's <laughs> older than me, so that means she's old. Um, but it is not the coach's corner. It's no. the Falcons corner. It's never been the coach's corner. I don't know why that enters her mind. Yeah, no, all the time. <laughs> it might be. It can't be. It can't be? It's not. So if I go through that pipe dream, which is never going to happen, of running either a half marathon or a marathon, you're going to be my coach to do that. Then it can be coach's corner. No. But don't have to worry <laughs> about it being coach's corner because that is never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're standing. So it's a short show. <laughs> sure. The legs will be tired. Yes. Yeah, so we got a late night today. Um, what happened last week? Ferg, what happened? Ferg, what happened? Well, last week? Let's, let's start with the immediate awesomeness of how successful wrestling was. Yeah. Yeah. Because then it'll lean into something else, and I think that's a good way All to right, start good. I talked to Evan Raposo yesterday because he's a work study, and uh, okay. he came into work, and I asked him how he went. He said, everything is great. Okay. And I said, well, how'd you do? And I knew how he did. He said, if, he said I was 4-1, and one, and he was very happy. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I'm sure he would have been like the 5-0. and all, Right. Four. So I wasn't sure what his overall record. That's a lot of matches for them. Yeah. So um, they went to Niagara Community College for the Thunder Wolves Open, um, and it's not an easy ride. I mean. You know, but we cool. do. We go to we, we go to Niagara like every other week here, <laughs> as opposed to some of the the PA schools that are only an hour away that we can't compete with. But we go out to Niagara. They do an awesome job. Form one. I was wondering what his record was. I know right. he finished second, right? Mm -hmm. Which yep. means so we only lost in the. Final. He lost his opening match in a tech fall, and then just went on a tear Good. through the rest and, of it. In Niagara, it's themselves compete very well at the national level. Yep. Right. And then I don't know all the other schools that were there. But I know Garrett College was there, and they're in our district. Right. I think Jamestown um, was there, uh, right. Guelph, Guelph University okay. was there, uh, and there were one or two other ones, I believe, that were right. there. Right, so there wasn't team scoring, correct? Right. But, I mean, some of the results, Evan. Right, Shannon. Uh, Shannon Clark, you know, heavyweight champ. 4-0. Yeah. 4-0. Yeah. Um, Sang the national anthem. I heard that. I heard that. So their music was on the fritz, and <laughs> he just steps up. And I, I was doing the dishes at 9.30 in the morning on Saturday, and I was like, oh, let me just tune in, see the see what the stream looks like. And I saw them, like, everyone standing, and them kind of struggling. I've been there when <laughs> equipment's not working. Yeah. And then I just see Shannon start to just kind of make his way over, just mosey on over, and you start hearing, like, clapping and everything. And he sings, he kills it like usual. Everybody's giving him high fives yeah, and everything. Right. And then he goes out and rips people he people's heads off. <laughs> it's, you know? it's the best. Yeah, that's what we do here. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Um, so it was great that, you know, he was able to win. He was our only individual champ, right? Yes. Like, so, yeah. And then Evan. Evan finished second. Uh, Dylan, what, third? Fourth? Dylan, I believe, was third. Dylan was two and two on the day. Okay. Um, but I know Dylan had two wins. Felix Mendez had two wins. Uh, Eddie Lordson had two wins. And someone else might have. Simeon had two wins, too. Right. Okay. So uh, multiple winners in terms of that for the Falcons. Are they done now until the break? Um, is no, no. We have this weekend. They're going to Nassau okay. Uh, okay. Community College. I mean, I've just got to make sure that they're all registered. <laughs> and um, also December 22nd, um, we are slated to go to the Wilkes okay. Open. Uh, we talked to Coach Barbara yesterday. We're just trying to work out some logistics because it's a Friday. Well, yeah, and it's a the tough kids are time home. Year and, yeah. Um, you know, so just those things. But they are uh, scheduled to go out to Nassau, which Nassau competes for Division three right. championships all the time. They finally at Nationals for Wrestling went scholarship, non-scholarship from the competitive side of it. And once they did that, Nassau. I mean, they're, they're right. some of the best of the best, especially yeah. Division three, And they would always compete pretty well at the Division one, minus okay. being able to get the scholarship. So All right. we'll see what happens. You know, I, the nine of them are, are heading out there. And, Good. Uh, we're going to compete this weekend. And, awesome. and also, you know, with Shannon, yeah. he was our what? Yeah. Athlete of the Week. Of course. How could you not be? 4-0 oh, and the anthem. Can we have him? We have video of him singing. I can find it. Someone has. Didn't, yeah. you, didn't you even do it for uh, volleyball? Didn't you record him? Someone recorded, recorded him for volleyball. volleyball. Either that or I'll, I'll clip the one from the Niagara stream. All and right. See if we can put see it on. Can, see if we can toss all that off. <laughs> put yeah, that, right. put that on during the break. The Are you talking to him today? <laughs> I'm going to try to, yes. Because right. he's, he's usually around. Yeah. So. During media day, I try to get him to sing our interview. See if you get him just to sing <laughs> his responses. <laughs> 
All right. Than a cappella room. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's singing a lot. I don't. I don't want to wear him out. You know. He could just, he could just uh, sing it. Look at the big guy coming up the stairs. <laughs> the combined intelligence. <laughs> well, now that you're here, come in. Come over and say hi, there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hi. Say hi. What camera? Right there. You're on camera right there. there. He's, there. He's on two cameras. See? Oh, oh, oh. Let's just come in. Hall of Famer walks away. That's it. That's it. <laughs> See you later. That just cost us $50. Yep, right there. there you, uh, at least. At least. All right, so let's talk men's basketball for where we're let's at. do that yeah where, so where we pick up last and where we men's are I know, basketball, I know we lost to Harkham Sunday it, we were one and two on the week however we did play very well yeah uh, right. close game with Raritan defending champions of the region right. up until late in the second half when Raritan went on just a, a tiny run ended up winning by three uh, big win on the road at Delaware Tech yep. get yeah. that first region win out of the way uh, nice bounce back win as well and then we were, while, while the score says 110-74 right. against Harkham, it was 38-36. Well, I was, I was, and that's right when I flipped it on, and then Harkham went on like a quick little same, 12, 14, same. nothing run. It, it was, was two and a half, like two and a half and minutes to go, 38-36. I was like, okay, wow, we're, we're in this. Yeah, no. And this is after we came back from a 14-point deficit to close within two. But Harkham, as they do, Goes on a quick 14 to nothing run in yeah, the blink of an eye. Time, yeah. And they go up by about 14 or 15, and they just start hitting three-point shots in yeah. the second half. So the signs are there. You right. know, despite, those, despite some of those results, the signs are certainly there. Right. And obviously to get a win on the road at Delaware Tech, that's a big help because that's the first region win. Yeah. Sets them up this week because they've got Essex right. and they've got Middlesex. Two big region division two games, yeah. and then of course next week Morris to close it out. Right. Yeah. So they got three games, and then we're we're home for two of those. So you come out to the Union, or you could just listen to Ferg and Steve. Well, actually, we're, we're home for we're all home three. For all three. We're, oh wait, one, two, three. That's right. We're home for all three. We're home we for have all a, three. A, we a single game on Tuesday. Up to six o'clock. What's? Well, why don't you just come out for two anyway and listen to Ferg and Steve? <laughs> Justify them doing yeah, that. Yeah, pick two out of Yeah, find one. Doesn't yeah, matter what. Find one that you want to stay home and decorate or bake cookies. Won't listen to Ferg. And instead of Christmas, yeah. I mean, at, Ferg and Steve. When this comes out, they'll have already missed the Tuesday game. So they well, might as well idea. come out to the final two games, right? All right. right, right. <laughs> so they're, that, you, were, you were right. You're and right. If you're going to do that, right. you come with a written report and you tell us how well Steve and Ferg did on the broadcast. <laughs> and that can be your final. Yes. There you go, Ferg. <laughs> See, we did your score for you, too. All right, so the women. I know they lost to Harkham, just like the men did. Yeah, yeah, and that was a, that was a game that was a, kind of close through right. the through the first half, but then uh, Harkham again goes on it a little bit of down and and pulls away and, and playing in that gym and that's right. to their advantage and and just like you said, like the depth and I mean, there's a reason Harkham. I think they're what thirteenth in the country this year, this year, right. this week in the rankings. Right. You know, just behind Union mm -hmm. and then Raritan Valley's at sixteen. So I mean, they're all right there. You know, you so know? so for us, get you know, not beating them. You know, is is tough, right. uh, but you got to look at the competition that we're we're playing, right? And we're it, we're competing, and I just think still trying to find their way, you know, down some injuries, right? And, yeah. Without yeah. some players, you're, you're loaded with three. You have one returning player, so you're right. loaded with fresh right. and, You know, coach is still trying to find. And their I way think out there are some signs for Coach Spence, right? Like I, I think Desi White know, has been playing good, she's yeah. Doing the ball well, and just you know, Desiree's been good. Naraya's kind of becoming has to become a point guard. That's that wasn't right. how she that played natural. last year, right. so. Um, you have Jayla South coming off the bench, actually got the start against Harkham, ended up in double figures. So right. she's been kind of good at right. providing that energy. So they've got some players that are starting to uh, find themselves. Again, remember, everybody except Naraya is a first year player. Right. Right. You know, everybody except Naraya is playing their first college basketball. Yeah. So everybody's kind of getting used to stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, let's uh, take a break. Sounds good. All right. The women are playing today. Oh, playing today, but you can't see that. You see the result there. Right. And then they're Saturday. Mm -hmm. here. Yep. And they're off, then they're off for the year. Nope. They're on the road. They're not home, though. They're not home. They play on December 17th, or 16th, against Salem. Oh, right. Salem. Point. And, that, and that is a Division two contest as well, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So that's a chance to see the Falcons women's basketball at home this Saturday. Saturday. Saturday yeah. against Middlesex. Yes. All right. All right. We'll be back. Shannon, maybe. Singing. We'll be back <laughs> on the Falcons for <laughs> Big play.
Hey, it's Tom Ferguson, Sports Information Director with Lackawanna College, and we're here with our Lackawanna College Athlete of the Week, Shannon Core from Lackawanna College Wrestling. Well, Shannon, you were Shannon Core, you're Shannon Clark. What, what would you prefer to be called? How would you prefer to be Clark? Addressed? Clark. Okay, yes. so Shannon Clark joining us here on Lackawanna College uh, for Falcons Corner Athlete of the Week. Uh, Shannon, big weekend for you guys. Uh, yes. Up at Niagara, you come away with a championship. Evan comes away second place, won four matches in a row. What did you like or what did you like about what you saw from your teammates this weekend up in Niagara? Uh, I think they all personally got individually better, regardless of the wins or the losses. Right. I think we all grew, um, and next week we'll do even better. Right, right. That's the hope. Um, what about for yourself, kind of going against the competition you did in, in that heavyweight division, those 285 kids? What did you see out of the kids that you went up against? Did you feel like you gained a lot of confidence from this past weekend? Uh, I think I was a lot more conditioned than all of them, and I was just focusing on my technique for the better kids to move on forward. Right, right, and obviously able to get a couple pins, a couple yes. major decisions. But what would you prefer? You prefer the match to be over quickly with, or, or do you kind of like racking up points on kids? What's, uh, your, what's your preference? Here? I prefer the match to go on. I don't like pinning kids, really. No, no. no. <laughs> Everybody says I'm pretty weird for that. I don't like pinning kids. Well, you, you had a couple of those where you were able to get some points, get some major decisions to yes. come out with the win. Uh, I mean, what's your focus this season? You were able to get to national qualifiers. Was that kind of uh, a wake-up call in a way for you in terms of the competition and knowing what you have to do, what, what your game has to be to get back there and be successful? Yes, I think the most important thing that kind of – was my downfall last year was my condition, and so I've been focused on that a lot right. this and, year. Well, especially in a lot of those those heavyweight matches, it seems like you've got two guys that can't move each other. Yeah, it comes down to conditioning, mm -hmm. right? So that'll that'll be key, and not even just the wrestling part. You were called into action this weekend, but even beforehand, they handed you a microphone. Yeah. So, like, so, so take us through that. What what happened? So I didn't even know that they were about to start the national anthem. I'm listening to my music, and next thing I know, I hear coach screaming. Oh, we have a guy that can sing, and then next thing you know, I'm right there singing the <laughs> national anthem. You've done it a couple times now. I mean, is it? Are there any nerves for you at this point, or no? Um, I've been doing that? it since I was a little kid, so like, it's not really anything to me. So right. whenever somebody asks, regardless if I'm warmed up or not, I'm so used to doing it. So I'm right there, ready on the spot. You're able to. Does it almost hype you up in a way to 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 be the kind of the guy that is singing it, or? or uh, I I think it's pretty like funny because when I hear the guys that I'm going against singing, they're like, I'll never lose to a kid that's singing the national anthem. So I think it's always pretty funny. <laughs> so they underestimate me the whole time. Exactly. And look what happens, yeah. right? So you, you kick off the, kick it off that way and then go out and win. And uh, you guys are, I know your teammates are up at Nassau this weekend and you got the books thing coming up mm -hmm. later this and, and later this semester, I should say. And then next year uh, it kicks right back into gear. Is it, Weird to think you've only still got a couple weekends to go until uh, until the, the national qualifiers come up. I don't think it's weird. I just think it motivates me to do better than this 
it's almost done if in the season's going by so fast. Right. Trying to get as many matches as I possibly can. Right, right. We're talking with Shannon Clark here, our athlete of the week at Lackawanna College. Now, Shannon, you're from Scranton originally? Yes. Okay, so you went to West Scranton. How did you end up here at Lackawanna College? Well, my high school coach, his brother used to be the coach here, so I always kind of knew that this was an option for me. Right. So senior year, they then that's when Coach Barbary came and talked to me because he knew the former coach. Right. Right, and that's what what ultimately went into your – was it just like the com comfortability of it, the familiarity of the program and everything? Or yeah, what? and my mom, she didn't want me to leave. So. <laughs> Not too far away, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, what's it like competing here, especially in that gymnasium when you guys get a chance to do it? Is, is that is that something special as a wrestler to be in a, in a gym like that, in a room like that? Yes, I, I wish we had a lot more home matches so everybody can see us wrestle more. Right, right, because that's a cool – it's a cool gym, a cool yes. atmosphere, right? Um, how did you get into – singing i guess how, how did that kind of become a part of who you are oh uh, well since before i even played sports i was always a singer i was in the choir i used to do solos in um elementary middle school so it was always something that was a big part of me right so i just kind of like i don't know i flipped the switch kind of and started doing sports a lot more right right but it's still kind of there in the, yeah. in the back of your mind right um what are you studying here at lackawanna nursing so what do you want to do with a nursing degree um i think i want to be a ob nurse Okay. Yes, that's that's something that I'm interested in a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is that now? That's not necessarily a lot of times. I'll do these interviews. It's a lot of business, a lot of professional studies, things like that. Is it tough to balance a nursing degree with uh, the student athlete life? Yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. No free time at all. No. Only practice and study. Yeah. So how do you how do you manage that? Is it, is it just motivated to to get it done, or what, what does it? Yeah, take? and I think that the study halls that we're having is a big help. It's it helps me study and get all my work done throughout the day. Helps kind of keep you focused. Yes. When you do have free time, which I know is rare, mm -hmm. what do you like to do? Uh, I, I read. I read. Okay. All right. Bit, yeah. What do you read? Um, I'm reading this uh, psych psychology novel that okay. my coach gave me right now. Okay. I forget what it's called, but it's a pretty good book. Okay. All right. So like. You re you read just whatever whatever kind of someone throws. Mm, I don't your... have a spe a specific type of book or genre I like to read. Right. Like the last book I just read, I just read War and Peace. That's totally different from what I'm reading now. <laughs> Ooh, a classic. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um. So what what's the focus here moving forward? The next uh, you know, as, as the second half of the season really starts to kick into gear. What's your focus and and, and what do you want to see from yourself and from your teammates? Uh, I think that it's. Ever getting everybody down to nationals this year mm -hmm. and placing is a big – I think that's the most important thing for all of us moving forward is placing, not just getting down there, actually finishing. Right, right, actually getting there. Um, is it a big help to be able to host the qualifiers here at Lackawanna College? Yeah, I think it's uh, it helps with a bit of most of the teammates' nerves. Oh, being here, not having to go far away, Right. I think it helps. Right, and then uh, – is your goal this year to get the get that championship at at the Gulf Atlantic uh, yes, Regionals here? Definitely. That's your motivation? Yes. Well, that's what we want to hear. Well, Shannon, congratulations on Thank the Athlete Week. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming on with us. And uh, we'll be more. This is Falcons Corner. Take flight. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Falcons Corner, voice of the Falcons, Mike Rickard, you got the old co-host, Danny Berg. Here. One more week, Professor Ferguson, Yeah. triple threat time, SID, I'm in behind the camera. Yeah. Esports time, give us our esports update, we're still playing. So yeah, Super Smash, uh, the guys made it to the national tournament, but fell last week, but congrats to Xavier Lazenberg and and, uh, and Bikram Shanda for you know, a great season for them for eSports, really right. you know, won a regional championship, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then Rocket League, defending NJCAA champions, still alive, right. won their first two matches on Friday. They are playing this Friday, December 8th. I'm not sure who they're playing in their top bracket final, 
but they should win that match, okay. and then they will play at 8 o'clock, I believe. confidence at first. I know. He was never that confident before when Bobby Deep wasn't in charge. He just has more confidence. His bond, his bond and friendship with Bobby Deep has increased yeah. his confidence. Bob's confidence gives me confidence. Okay. Uh, but there's, they will, the championship match is at 8 o'clock. If they end up losing that match, they go drop to the consolation brackets, double elimination. They'll play that at 7, and then if they can win that, they'll go back to the championship at 8. So okay. either way, they're playing at least two matches on Friday. just kind of okay. depends on which one. One, but okay. uh, there. Anyone wants to watch that? Twitch still? Twitch dot or twitch.tv slash lock on edu. The NJCAE may pick that up and put that on their Twitch channel. Okay. Uh, but cool. that's where you can watch either of those matches. Right, cool. So. Awesome. Best of luck to Coach D and yeah. uh, all those guys and ladies down the hill. Yeah. They're 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 putting in work. Champs. How about that? Let's Defending NJCAE right. champions. That's you know. Before. That's parade time. Yeah. Right um, up down just Jefferson Avenue. That's it. From here to the hospital and back. And, Works for me. Right. And we had the uh, the check presentation yesterday. We'll put the pictures up here on Falcon's I Corner. See that. With, okay. with Bob at, for Extra Life and $12,000 that he was able to raise. It's pretty good for one afternoon. I would say so, you yeah. know. Uh, and thanks I to everybody new, that. I need a new uh, washer, dryer at the house, and a couple other things. It could, could be, be a Bob side gig. Bob looking up and like, raising some money for Maybe me. if you just show up at Bartari, I'll bring my old paint boy. Right. And I'll see if people want to just do I'm not selfish. We can just share it all yeah. between all of us. We're going to so wash your dryer own. and fridge this week. So yeah, it's exciting. All right. exciting times. Yeah. Right. It's amazing <laughs> what we get excited about. <laughs> at this point. Oh, my God. Like, it's, it's been over. <laughs> right. So. All right. Great week. It is. And a better one to come. Yes. We're winding down. We almost have a break time. Which we exciting. know is December 15th. December 15th. That's actually the last day of my master's course, too. Is it? Yes. Oh, boy. We're done with exercise, sports, nutrition. Wow. I know. I can't wait. Stress. Are we going to have to refer to you as Master Rickert? I'm not, I won't be done with the program yet. But okay. you can still refer to me as Master <laughs> I'll just be done with my exercise, sport, and nutrition class, which right. I was ready for the last year and a half. Right. Okay. So right. I just need to uh, survive well, good for luck. two more weeks. It's not luck. It's worse than that. What's, it's, what's in a, it's, it's a whole prayer. <laughs> it's a fairy generous instructor. All, all of the above. Yeah, because cool. of the work that you put in. Yeah. Yes, That's it. it is. Cool. Just, I figured out if I get half po half points on the remaining assignments I have for the next two Still weeks, pass. I get a B. Oh, I do the I do the I, no, I do the good work early, then I get slack. I was like, all right. So my whole week this past weekend was like, how bad can I do the next two weeks to get a B? And that's how bad I get. That's do. it. Fair. That's what you should talk to your students about. Yeah, just hope and prayer yeah. and, you know, just kind yeah. of scrape If you get by. half of the assigned points, you're going to get a B. You're going to get a B <laughs> and you're yeah. fine. All right. <laughs> Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next week. We'll talk to the